Hello everyone, this is Julia from Craft Room Adventures for Sunny Studio Stamps and today I have this fun sliding window birthday card to share with you using the adorable lovable llama stamp set. I stamped out all of my images onto Transor Type Perfect Coloring Paper and I'm using Copic markers to color them in. I'm starting with EG99, then going in with YG17, YG13 and YG11. The stamp sets I'm using are Lovable Llama, then the trees are from the spring scenes, and the balloons are from Floating By, which is another mini set just like the Lovable Llama. I colored the balloon in the same green shades as uh, the tree. And then I'm going in with Y17, Y15, Y13, and Y11 for the balloon. Just adding a second layer of color for a little bit more depth. And I wanted those balloons to be like multicolored, all different colors. So I'm just basically willy nilly <laughs> adding colors all around the bunch of balloons. So I'm going in with R39, then R29, R27, R24. And then adding a bit more of those same shades and then going in with R22. And then I also wanted a pink balloon. I'm going in with RB29, 25, then 23, and 21. Again, going in for a second layer just to add a bit more color. And then blending everything to, together with RV21. For my blue, I'm using B26. That wasn't quite dark enough, so I also brought in B28. Then blending those out with B23. And then B21. For teal, I'm using BG18 as my darkest shade. Blending that out with BG15 then BG13, and finally BG11. Orange is YR18 as the darkest shade. And I'm also just adding like a little bit of an outline so that the balloon looks a bit more rounded. So YR18, YR14, and YR12 for orange. For purple, I'm using V05, but that wasn't quite dark enough, so I'm going in with V09. Then again with a V05, just to blend that out. Then V04, V01, and V000. And finally, for grayish purple, I'm going in with BB17, then BB13, but I needed that to be a bit darker, so I'm bringing in BB08. Then going back in with BB17 and BB13. And then I'm blending that out with BB11. For my llama, I'm using E30 markers. I wanted to keep it fairly light, so just adding a little bit of shading with E33, then E31. I outlined the llama and all of the like little I don't know what they would be called, but you know, those little areas with the little flurries there. Uh, blending the E31 out with E30. But that wasn't quite dark enough, so I will be bringing in the E33 around the outer parameters of the llama as well, just for a little bit more definition. And I'm again blending that out with E31 and then E30. For the cheeks, I'm using R21. And then I'm going over the center area with a colorless blender just to blend everything together. Going back in with E33 on the mouth and the, on the legs. And that finishes off my coloring. I die cut three pieces of cardstock, one that's just regular A2 sized, four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I die cut the sliding window area out of a panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I also die cut the notch piece at the top. 
And then I die cut a piece that's just a little wider than the sliding window. I just used this as a guide and I cut that down. That was, will be the part that you pull. And now I'm using Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn Distress Ink and Hill Stencil to add some ink blending to all of my pieces. I actually ink blended the piece that you pull out with a grassy hill as well, which I later realized that that would be in the sky and makes very little sense. But uh, since you don't pull out that far, you actually can't see it in the finished card, so it's fine. <laughs> but if you assemble this card, the part that you pull out, you would just ink blend as the top panel. Uh, the same as the top panel, not like add grass or anything. <laughs> Again, just blending all of those pieces using the hill stencils. Then for the sky, I am using Tumbled Glass and Salty Ocean. I added quite a lot of the Tumbled Glass and the Salty Ocean, but I realized that the colors just weren't getting intense enough for what I wanted. I even switched to like a foam ink blending tool, which puts down a lot more color. But I really wanted the sky to be nice and vibrant blue. So I just went ahead and switched to the same colors, but in the oxides. And to keep my stencil in place, I'm using a um, like magnetic mat and like one of my misty magnets. Actually, I went in with the wrong color at the bottom there, but this is the inside piece, so you won't be able to see it later. And with the oxides, as you can see, it puts down the color a lot more vibrantly. Just blending the colors back and forth, adding quite a bit of uh, color with the blending foam and then blending it out with a brush. Then I'm adding some little sprays of water for some texture on my panel. Just blotting it up slightly. And then I'm folding along all of the score lines that the die creates, the sliding window die. Just using my bone folder to reinforce the score lines. Then I'm adding the 8th inch score tape to the little flap at the bottom. Removing that flap and now I'm lining up my uh, sliding piece with that flap. And there you can see the mechanism. Then I'm adding some thin foam tape around the edges just so that the sliding window has some room to move. Just making sure it lines up nicely and works. Then it's time to stamp the sentiment on the inside and for that for this I'm using the inside birthday greeting stamp set. I just lined it up with a window, put it in my misty and now I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink to stamp it down. And for the second part of my sentiment I really really wanted the sentiment to read, let me tell you. One day a year isn't enough to celebrate somebody as special as you. Happy birthday. So I'm using the Kinsley alphabet stamps to spell out the Lama Tell You. And here you can see how I'm lining them up. I'm just using the grid on my misty door. And I had to stamp it twice because uh, the Lama needed two L's and the Tell as well. So I'm just making sure that the spacing is even and the letters are lined up straight. Then removing the other words, placing the piece of cardstock back in my misty, and stamping it down again with Versamark ink. And then I'm heat embossing the, or heat setting the second part of my sentiment. There was a little bit of uh, powder where I didn't want it, so I just removed that with a little bit brush. And then I just heat set it. And then I removed the backing of the foam tape and I'm adding it to the card base. Or to the ink blended panel, which I've added to an A2 size card base. I also die cut a few of the white puffy clouds, or 
puffy clouds out of white cardstock. Then adding a little bow tie and a party hat to the llama. Then also gluing down the bunch of balloons and the presents on his back. And I did uh, die cut a second layer of the balloons just so they would be a little, a little more sturdy because they're basically just hanging off the panel. Now I'm just gluing down my puffy clouds and the trees just to fill up my scene. I did color the little gift boxes, but I didn't end up having room for them. I'm gluing down my sentiment strip right above the score line. And then I'm adding my little lovable llama. And I also added some clouds to the piece that slides out. And finally, I'm just adding an arrow that uh, lets the recipient know that there's something that might happen if you pull on it. And adding a little butterfly at the top. And then I also went ahead and added one to the inside, just next to the sentiment. Then I'm using the Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen in Glitter Gloss just to add some sparkle and shine on the presents, the balloons, and the butterflies. And that finished that for today. This is the first time actually making a sliding window card and I had so much fun because, you know, sometimes you have a bit of a longer sentiment and it's just such a wonderful way to reveal like an additional message to a card or maybe add like more images. I think it's just super fun. And I, I've been playing with this and I really like that this actually stands. Oh, you can just leave it standing up, which I think is super cool. Thank you so very much for joining me today and for spending this time with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Sunny Studios YouTube channel for more inspiration with their products. And I will see you again soon. Until then, have a great day. Bye!